don't let me loose with the internet because I'll buy things like that. Little bean, like ASMR. And we can stop those pesky little butterflies laying their pesky little eggs that turn into pesky little caterpillars. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little bit different because it's not a vlog. Normally we're exclusively vlogs and you know, sometimes other bits of stuff. But this is gonna be a haul and specifically a gardeny allotmenty haul. So if you don't know, we've recently got a an allotment plot local to us and we got that in about August, it's now September. Um, we've been doing some allotment vlogs. If you wanna follow along with them, I'll link the playlist in the description. Um, but yeah, so that's become basically my whole personality is that I am now an allotmenter and everything I do must be allotment related. <laughs> so, um, and what I thought I would uh, do today is film some gardeny allotmenty bits that I've bought from Timu. Now, I've bought random stuff from Timu before, <laughs> um, including clothes, household gadgets, stuff for the dog, stuff for the rabbits. We've got a pet dog and pet rabbits, by the way. Um, and they've all been fine. And so far, my credit card information has not been stolen from me. I paid with Apple Pay. Um, and so far, I've had no issues. The stuff comes within about a week to 10 days. Um, it's always been delivered on time. And yeah. I mean, you know what you're paying for, it's cheap stuff shipped from China, you're just basically buying like wholesale stuff that other shops would buy, you know, that's why it's so cheap, because you're just buying it direct from the manufacturer type thing. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you the haul of all the gardeny allotmenty bits that I've bought from Timu in this little big parcel here, and yeah, we'll get into the haul. So some of these products are gonna need like a little bit of a test. Um, so I will take them down to the allotment or in the garden at some point this week and I will insert those clips, you know, as and when I'm showing the products so we can see if they actually work. Um, but for now, I'll just show you them out of the packet. So we've got a, got a complete random selection. Some like useful things like gardening tools, but then some also just random things that I like. <laughs> So let's go for a useful thing. Well, is it useful? We will find out. But I have seen, I'm gonna put it on and show you. I have seen, because obviously Timo, Timo stores like what you've bought before or like what you've been Googling, what you've been searching. Cause I've like searched for garden stuff before. These keep coming up. I must admit, I feel a bit Wolverine with these. But this is basically a gardening glove. Are these attached? Okay, these are attached. And they did send another gardening glove, just a normal one. But this is the one with all the bits on, <laughs> like ASMR. Um, Sam did use this as a back scratcher and it was pretty nice. Um, but yeah, so this I think is for like digging stuff out and like clawing at the ground, which sometimes when I'm weeding, I do feel like that would be quite useful to get some of the types of weeds out. Um, <laughs> I can't get over it. Oh, you know, a Halloween costume. These might be suitable for. <laughs> but yeah, as I say, I'll take these to the allotment plot and I'll uh, see if I can film what they might be useful for. Who knows? I found some weeds. I'm gonna test out this silly little glove and see if it's useful for anything. What would that be useful for? breaking <laughs> just feels wrong and it's not <laughs> it's not helping anything what about digging up potatoes uh, is a bit useful for that I don't know I don't know what this is good for I don't think anything I'm gonna have to take that potato home now <laughs> take these potatoes home I've dug them up now but yeah, this is, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what this is. I don't know what job this would be good for. <laughs> so this is like a not useful product, but I like to, you know, in a lot of plot, I like it to be a bit like a garden. I like to decorate. I want people to 
come and enjoy it and it'll look nice and I want it to look nice but I also want it to have like our personality you know we're young we're silly you know I like I want people to know who we are so I bought some um plant labels but they're not plant labels you know I have lollipop sticks where I write on you know lettuce chard whatever but these are like <laughs> funny ones so for example favorite child probably a weed this I like this one I like this one um <laughs> feeling cute might die later I mean these are all you know of a similar vein and there were loads and loads and loads um, of these uh oh by the way I'll try and like I'll link I'll link the products yeah I'll link the products and then you can see how much they wear and stuff if you're interested but nothing was expensive and um, yeah there's a whole load of those in there and they're all funny and I just thought they'd be fun to dot around in and amongst the plants and then if anyone comes to our pot they can see it and have a little giggle so I brilliant I love them <laughs> so next I'll put these both together in the same segment because dog's barking ignore him um so yeah again on the same vein of decorating and making things look fun I got, this is so silly so unnecessary i got I've got a handful here and i got oh god i'm dropping them everywhere oh no basically i got some little glow in the dark i won't be able to see do i have to cover my face do i have to leave the shot will you focus Focus on me. Focus on me. Hello. Anyway, won't focus, but I got these little um, glow in the dark rabbit <laughs> rabbit ornaments. And to be fair, I thought these would be bigger in my defence. But these I thought would be cute to like put in. And I, oh, I got some mushrooms as well, a whole pack of different. And I thought these would just be fun to put in and amongst the crops and have like a little, you know, mushroom rabbit family living amongst plants. It's really stupid. I told you it wasn't necessary. Um, but yeah, so they're glow in the dark. So at night, you'll be able to see little like, little animal and mushrooms glowing amongst the plants. I also think these would be fun to put in plant pots and um, dotted about. I'm going to have to be careful that the dog doesn't eat these because they are very eatable size that's like a vet's bill in a packet but Ted doesn't come to the allotment very often if he does he's, he's on a lead so hopefully we'll be able to stop him eating those but I just they're so silly they're so unnecessary I know but I thought they'd just liven up the plot and then people will walk past and be like oh what's that oh it's a glow-in-the-dark mushroom amazing this is probably the most useful thing that I've bought and I actually want to use these possibly today if I can be bothered to organise but these are a whole packet of little seed envelopes um, and you can write what type it is blah 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 and the date and so I've been collecting um, seeds from like our summer flowers um, I collected some seeds from um, a lettuce that had gone to seed so I've got lots of seeds ready for next year and at the moment they're just in like ziploc sandwich bags with a piece of uh, kitchen kitchen roll in there to like absorb any moisture but really seeds should be in a dry envelope and these are really good and I think that was a pack of 20 yeah 20 I should have got more really in hindsight but I can always order some more yeah, but these are really sweet and they've got a little self-adhesive thing on the back. So these will be great for organising any seeds that I've collected. So you might be able to see we're in my kitchen. <laughs> and I thought I'd show you the current state of affairs of the seeds that I've collected. Like this is just awful, but it's all I had at the time. Um, so I'm going to transfer them into these cute little seed packets. And... I just think they'll keep better and they look better and then I can organise these properly. I want to get like a little organise drawer set. Um, yeah, so I'll just transfer these into there.
this i was quite confused when this came and i was like oh what's that but then i realized it is you like put your finger through it like that and then snap it and this is like a blade and it's useful for deadheading flowers or pruning or snipping bits off snipping tomatoes whatever where you know you just want to very quickly do it rather than get any snips or whatever i just thought this was really useful um <laughs> to like deadhead things or snip things or i just thought that would be a useful tool to have at the allotment and it's little and handheld and it just feels feels right you know feels right i feel like i could really get like in the bush and know what i'm snipping because sometimes if i go in with big um secretaries or scissors i sometimes snip the wrong thing um so yeah i thought this would be useful just a little, little snip snips so this is another <laughs> not useful purchase but it is beautiful i got this right Hang on, hang on, hang on, yeah. So this is another non-essential purchase, but the plan at our allotment is to have um, an archway in the middle. And I thought this would be nice to hang in the middle of the archway and it'll reflect all the light. And even though it's beautiful, I think it will serve a dual purpose because birds who pick at your crops don't like reflecty light things. So like some of the allotment people have like dangly like tinsel type things or some people hang cds to reflect light and apparently the birds don't like it it scares them so if i hang this in the middle of the arch and it like reflects over the over the plot i thought that'd be nice and it's beautiful it's really gorgeous i don't know how this will fare outside in the weather but obviously it wasn't expensive because it was from timu so I'm, i won't be too upset if uh, if it rusts or whatever or i can take it in in winter and just have it out in summer but i thought that was gorgeous just hang from the arch and make it nice and girly and hopefully serve a purpose but it's mostly for how it looks let's be honest oh goodness me it's warm in this room it's like 27 degrees today and i'm filming in my office which is always a very very warm room because the sun comes right through the window and i've got the blind shut but it's still <sighs> we're hot we're hot so I'm going to put these two together because they're basically the same thing. <laughs> but I got lots of little like butterfly steak things. So you just open up and, and then you'll stick them amongst your plants and things like that. And I just think this is fun, like totally not essential. And I don't think will serve any purpose apart from being colourful. So things might be attracted to it. I don't, I don't really know. Um, but I just thought these will be fun and they'll make everything look nice and like, for example, at the moment, we've only got like green growing because it's the time of year where you can't grow any flowers or anything. So I think this will like add nice color. I mean, they feel flimsy AF, so I'm not sure how long they'll last. Certainly not through weather and storms, but I just thought these were really nice to just dot about the plot, you know, all different colors, different sizes. Maybe it'll attract butterflies because they think these are their friends. Um, I mean, I've never seen a butterfly like this in England that you know, you know time for everything but yeah i think these were like a pound per pack or something and there's 10 i think in a pack of the little ones and the big ones but yeah i just thought they'd be super cute dotted all around the plants add some color to the plot make the plot people know that you know we're fun we're fun we're not we're not normal allotmenters you know we're fun allotmenters This is another stupid thing I bought, basically. Don't need it, did I need it? No, but did I want it? Yes. So, this is, oh my God, there's a rogue mushroom. There's a rogue glow in the dark mushroom. Let me put that back or the dog will eat it. So this is just a key ring. It's just a bog standard key ring. However, it's got little, oh, I'm holding it. It's got little peas that pop out. <laughs> so stupid. Um, it's like a fidget toy but i got this to put our allotment keys on because we have the key to the allotment plot itself like the padlock to the gate to get on the plot and then we also have key padlocks on our shed so i thought we can put all the keys together in one place put them on this garden themed key ring so we know which is the allotment keys and then if me because at the moment all the keys are on my car keys but obviously if sam wants to go or i'm going and i'm not in my car 
you know, I have to take all the keys off his moving eye myself. So I'll put them all on one key ring. <laughs> Little bee. <laughs> oh, so stupid. Such a waste of money. Honestly. Don't let me loose with the internet because I'll buy things like that. Oh, this is another useful thing, I think. Hopefully. Maybe. Not used it yet. We'll find out in the clip where I use it. But this is... Let me think how to say this. So this is... You put your seeds, basically. Oh, how do you put your seeds in? Does this pull out? I'm not being an idiot. Oh, okay, got it. She's not daft. So you put your seeds in there, okay? And then the idea is you put the lid back on. And this has got like numbers all around. Um, and I think it's like how thinly you want to spread your seeds. And these numbers correlate. Oh, God, come on a minute correlate to how big this little plastic opening is. So basically, the higher the number, the more seeds are gonna come out at once. And this means you can be quite precise about how many seeds you sow in at a time. So for things like carrots, you're meant to sow thinly because carrots don't like being punched up, they won't grow very big. Um, or things that you only wanna grow a couple of, like a cabbage, you only wanna, you know, sow you know one seed in one patch otherwise you you know there's too much cabbage for that small space so that will be useful i hope in terms of spreading only the amount of seeds that you want because at the moment i just get the packet and i just you know just it all over which isn't very precise and i don't know if that's how you're meant to do it i mean that's how you know you just put the seeds in the ground but this might make me feel better about being professional you know only putting a couple of seeds in at a time we'll see it was probably a pound you know, it might be useful. Might be useful, might never use it again. Again, this is completely unnecessary. Again, don't give, don't let me loose on the internet because I'll buy random st stuff. But basically, if you're an allotmenter, you have to wear Crocs. Don't ask me why, but that is the rule. You do have to wear Crocs on the allotment. That is the rule. Um, Sam suggests wearing boots, but I just think that's a bit ridiculous. I always wear my Crocs. And at the moment, my Crocs are a mess, number one. But they're also covered in um, charms, but they're like game-themed charms, because I'm a nerd, I'm a gamer. Like game-themed charms, like Pac-Man or Baby Yoda, you know? But I thought, if they're going to be my gardening Crocs, and I'm going to al allow them to be the gardening Crocs, I thought I ought to decorate them accordingly. So I got some... <laughs> garden themed croc charms these are obviously not official gibbets or whatever they're called because they're from Damien but there's like a little tree there's a little flower um, a little happy little flower and this is my favourite one this says plant lady and I am a plant lady so I'm going to reorganise my crocs put the new gibbets on take the old gibbets off I really need a new pair of crocs to be my you know, crocs for best um, I did ask for some for my birthday, but none have arrived. So I might have to buy some with my birthday money. But yeah, so on my gardening crop, I'm going to take off the old gibbets, put the new official gardening plant gibbets on, and then they are my gardening crocs, officially. I'm officially an allotment day because I go in my crocs. So this is something that we've been advised on the internet by people who grow stuff to have. Um, and it's a little soil tester, so you can see. Um, it's got different things it can test for. Um, because this was off the internet, I'm not sure how accurate it's going to be. This is what it looks like. I'm assuming you just beep it in your soil and it tells you about it. So let's have a look. So let's take that. Oh, oh that isn't satisfying at all. Oh, no, that isn't satisfying at all. Why would you do that to me? Oh, that's made me really sad. I thought that was going to be a satisfying peel, but it's, it's not. It's not even, oh, that's made me really upset. Oh, that's made me so sad. It's a good job Sam wasn't here. He'd have had a, had a meltdown about that. He, he, he doesn't like it when things do that. Anyway, the peely things, you can see. I'm disappointed with that. But basically, by the by, this tests for moisture, light, and pH. That's exciting, isn't it? I mostly want it for pH testing because Apparently different plants like different types of soil. This is all news to me. But some plants like acidic soil, like apparently potatoes like it quite acidic. 
um, blueberries need acidic soil. Um, I don't know, probably other things need acidic, acidic soil. But then some plants, like brassicas, need alkaline soil, I think. Do not quote me, maybe wrong, Google. Google it yourself. Um, but that is my understanding. So you test your soil, you see what you need to do. I think acidic soil, you can add coffee. Like if you want acidic soil, you can add coffee. Pine needles are apparently uh, acidic from like Christmas tree. And it depends, like it depends what type of mulch you add to the bed, depending on what you want to grow, depending on how you want your soil. So anyway, by the by, this should tell me what type of soil we've got. Um, and then we can judge accordingly. The moisture thing, I don't know if we'll ever use that, and dark and light, I don't know, but we'll give it a good go and see what happens, you know, what could go wrong. It was, you know, a few pounds off Timu, so, you know, directions. Insert probe tip to root level, always clean after use, okay. And I will do that next time I'm at the plot to test our soil. That feels a bit too professional for the type of garden I do, but you know, we want we want a good harvest, you know, next year, so fail to prepare, prepare to fail and all that. So I'm gonna use this soil tester device that you just shove it in. And see what it says. Are you seeing anything? That feels like it's not doing anything. And gone. So I'm not sure this is actually doing anything. Unless our soil is just very alkaline all the way around. It checks, it changes when I go to moist. It says it's about the middle, which seems about right. And then it changes again to light. It's got good light. But when I put it on pH, it goes back to alkaline. Maybe we've just got very alkaline -y soil. I don't know. I don't know on this one. This is not a medieval torture device, despite what it looks like, nor is it a back scratcher. We have tried it as a back scratcher, it's a bit intense. This is apparently a weeder, a de-weeder, and I can see why it would be, because um, I'm assuming you go along the soil and like the weed roots get stuck and it pulls them out, a bit like a hoe. Um, <sighs> giggly. Um, this is just bog standard. I'm not sure, the, again, the quality, I don't know until you try it here, but it's like welded together. It's all metal, apart from the, oh no, the handle is metal as well. Oh, okay. Well, all we can do is try it and see if it works. Because at the moment I just pick all the weeds out by hand and I, I hate it. I don't think anyone likes weeding, do they? But this might make it fun and interesting. So I'll take that to the plot and I'll see how useful it is <laughs> as a weeder. Oh. We're at the allotment now, and this is the little weedy thing from Timu. And I'm gonna basically be clearing this bed because the carrots aren't growing and it's just not working. So we're gonna clear it. So I'm gonna see how, oh, I know these are carrots, I'm digging up, it's fine. We've, we've let it go. It's quite good actually. I think that's quite good. Oh, I quite like that. Good for doing little, because we have just bought a big, ignore the dog, bought a big Dutch hoe which does nice big areas but this, this is quite good. This is getting rid of a lot of the weeds in like specific areas. Yeah, I quite like that. I think that's quite a good, good little cheap purchase. It was a lot cheaper than the Dutch hoe, I can tell you that. Yeah, I think that's working okay. So this is again something I'm going to have to test because I can't, you know, tell how good it is right now in my office. But this, I think, is a like a sprayer. So you, I think you put like an old um, water bottle or pot bottle or something over here with water in, obviously, and then it sprays. Press that down and it'll spray. Now this is useful because. Um, if you want to make sprays like garlic spray or like a peppermint, like I've been spraying the plants with peppermint oil, diluted peppermint oil to try and repel slugs and other pests. A lot of those things to repel the pests are sprays. And if you've got a whole allotment plot like we do, go in with a hand spray pump is kind of a nightmare. So I thought this would be fun to test, you know, high pressure spraying. 
but yeah again we'll have to see if that works or it's just useful to you know water your plants or give them a mist or whatever your plants like i just think that would be quite fun and useful to have on the plot if it works now i don't know if i can test this <laughs> because it's not the time of year but i saw on team that they sell insect mesh now i think this is a dupe for enviro mesh which i've heard people use on the allotment in you know channels forums and basically if you're going to grow something like brassicas so that's your cabbage your broccoli your cauliflower any pak choy i think is a brassica anything like that um or kale stuff like that god anything like that you can google it at your own risk um needs protecting from cabbage moths or cabbage white butterflies they're the same thing um just different names um and those little butterflies will land on your crop um lay eggs which seems harmless but then those eggs turn into caterpillars and the caterpillars caterpillars eat all your food all your crops um, I didn't know this butterfly existed and we were walking around our little garden, garden vegetable area at our house and I was going, oh, those are nice butterflies. I think I even vlogged some. I was like, oh, nice butterflies. Oh, lovely butterflies in the garden. No, incorrect. They were cabbage moths, cabbage white butterflies and they laid their eggs on our kale. Beautiful. Grew loads and loads of Cavallo Nero, black kale. It was great. The rabbits loved it. We were having a great time and then bam, the caterpillars got it and ate it all and there was nothing left for us humans and they ruined the plant. So, if you're going to grow brassicas, you have to protect them, unless you've got the time and energy to pick off a billion caterpillars, which I do not. So, this basically is a mesh, and you have to have it very, very small so that the butterfly can't lay its eggs through. So, you have to have very, very, very fine mesh. Um, and there's a few different types of meshes out there, but the best one apparently is EnviroMesh, which stops even the very smallest things going through. And I think this is trying to be that, although it's not branded, obviously. And so I bought a lot of it. I can't remember how much I bought. Does it say on the packet? 6.5 by 10 feet. So I bought quite a lot of it. Wow, I was feeling spendy. Um, and you can cut it and put it over, make some sort of structure to put it over your plants and it protects them from the cabbage moth so maybe i can try this out because i did get some broccoli plug plants from the garden center the other day it's a bit late in the season to plant broccoli but i'm just yoloing it um and so they will need protecting from the cabbage moth because even though it's past cabbage moth season technically because of this heat wave they're still about so maybe i can try that out but if i can't try it this year i'm going to save it obviously and use it next year just to protect um, as best we can but yeah this was a lot cheaper on Timu than obviously EnviroMesh on Amazon or other online garden retailers so I don't see why this the holes are very 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 small so I think this will work fine as a mesh and we can stop those pesky little butterflies laying their pesky little eggs that turn into pesky little caterpillars so this is the last thing I'm going to show you and uh, this comes up on my cookies, Instagram ads, Facebook ads, cookie, whatever the cookies are telling them to show me. This, like, this is it. This is what they're showing me. And I am so disappointed with the quality <laughs> because you sort of expect things on the internet to be a bit rubbish. You know, buy them on the internet, it costs a quid, it's going to be a bit rubbish. But I think this set was like £5, which is expensive for, you know, an online retailer. So I'm, I'm very disappointed with the quality. But basically... It's a little mini greenhouse for growing seeds. And the reason this is interesting is because it's got a grow light. So in theory, does this have to be plugged in all the time? Let me check, hang on. I'm just turning my computer on to uh, borrow its USB capabilities. If this blows up my work computer, I do apologize. this have to be plugged in oh okay so it has to be plugged in i thought it was maybe battery operated and you recharge the battery but no it has to be plugged in and this is supposedly a grow light and so it turns it into a little mini greenhouse so you should be able to start off your seeds give them a bit of a bit of a head start better than just planting out or planting you know on the windowsill or whatever now 
let me just unplug that before it blows up my computer now i'm not sure if this will be any better than the little plastic greenhouse that i already have so we already have like a little wilco's you know three tier plastic greenhouse that we start our seeds in um so i don't know if it'll be any better than that but obviously the advantage is you can keep it temperature controlled inside whereas obviously the outdoor greenhouse is susceptible to the cold night temperatures so i'll do a little I suppose this might be a long-term tester because I can't germinate seeds in a day, but I will test it out in this video. I'll plant the seeds and stuff. And then in another allotment vlog or in the allotment vlogs, I'll give an update as to how this goes and to see if they germinate quicker than our little greenhouse. Because I've planted stuff in the greenhouse and they've germinated in like a week because we've had such lovely weather that stuff has germinated in the greenhouse. But obviously this has the grow light so I can keep it inside on the windowsill and see how we get on with that. Don't know. It's an experiment, isn't it? It's an experiment, but I'm not sure this will be any better than uh, just plant just putting it in the little plastic greenhouse. So filled up the little insert that came with the mini electric greenhouse thing, and I'm going to do a bit of an experiment because. These are mostly things I've grown before or I've got growing now. So I sort of know how long they take to germinate. So I can sort of assess if they're any quicker with the silly little greenhouse thing. So what I'm gonna do is I've just filled this up with compost. My glamorous assistant. It's like Thunderbirds, you're Lady <laughs> Penelope. Quick uh, interlude for an espresso martini. Melodic. Anyway, <laughs> oh, this is how I garden. You see, this is this is how I do it. Um, <laughs> so, I'm just jabbing a little hole in the compost. This is how you do seeds, by the way. If you've never seen that before, I'm sure you have. Um, I don't normally use a pen, but this is what I have to hand. So. You normally use a tool called a dibber. A dibber? I think it's a dibber. Anyway, I'm just making a little hole in each of the little compost bits. And then, I don't know why I've got a glove on. And then what I'm gonna do is just plant these as I would anything else. I'm gonna do one row of each. I normally plant two seeds per, two or three seeds per nodule, because then I know if one doesn't germinate, the other one probably will. So I'm just going to go through and do that. Don't mind Sam in the background. And then... <laughs> so I'll plant these and I'll put them in the little electric greenhouse thing. And I will update you on the allotment vlogs to see how they're growing compared to how I believe they would just grow either in the greenhouse or naturally. So that's, that's what we'll do. And this is it all set up. I've plugged it in on this little table in my office where the curtains are generally, or well, the blinds are generally closed. Hi mate. Um, I've watered it and I will try and treat it as I would any other plants growing in the greenhouse. Um, and we'll see how quickly, <laughs> Ted mate, how quickly they germinate. Um, this little thing I've just realised you can open and close for ventilation, so I'll sort of do like halfway-ish. I don't know, let's see how we get on. These are all things you can grow in uh, this time of year, by the way. Kale, pak choy, lettuce and spinach. So they should all germinate. We will see how we get on. So, sorry, visitor, visitor, you ain't invited me. So, this is the greenhouse, little mini Timu greenhouse as it stands. And it's done quite well, I think. Can I get into it? Not one-handed. Hang on. So this is how everything has grown. Um, everything's grown is the answer. Every single module has germinated, germinated well. Um, it's kept it nice and moist. Um, the lights worked because I've had the blinds shut in this room for the majority of this growth spurt. And it's only been about five days, five days maybe. And this is what we've got. The only thing I will say is that these have got very leggy compared to 
plants I've grown previously. These are very, very leggy, but they have grown. So that's all I can say really. We've got spinach, round lettuce, pak choy and black kale, so Cavallo Nero. And I'm gonna pot these on now and plant them up. But yeah, this little mini greenhouse thing has worked, evidently. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's worked, what else can I say? So that concludes the Timu haul of allotmenty gardeny things. I hope you have enjoyed and um, I hope it's been informative and useful. Um, so you know whether you should buy the things on the internet or not. Um, yeah, I think we've got a good collection of stuff, some, you know, useful things, useful things or decorative things. Um, this is, doesn't just account for allotments. You can obviously use these in your garden or any sort of growing space that you have. You know, even if you grow things on your windowsill, these little plant labels are quite interesting. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you found it useful. Um, if you do enjoy our videos, please go and check out our allotment vlogs. And um, we've been vlogging uh, our whole allotment process from start to now. Um, and they're in a little series, which I've said I'll link below. And we also vlog our weekends, not doing gardening things. Or sometimes we're in our home garden, or sometimes we're not gardening at all, and we're just filming our lives. You know going out, going on dates, you know, Sam's in a band, we go to gigs. So that is another thing that we do. So I'll link both playlists below, um, our allotment vlogs and our weekly vlogs. And yeah, if you do find this interesting and um, want to see more of us, do subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, all of the things. Please do comment about which things you like the most or if you've had any good finds on the internet or Timu or anywhere on the internet you think anything will be useful for us as allotment gardeners. And yes, I will see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Um, also, we're on Instagram. Our allotment Instagram is allotment of Ted. I will link that below. And our home Instagram is house of Ted. House of Ted Bear, can't remember. I'll link it below. Um, and so you can follow us on that if, if you do so wish. So thank you for watching. Sorry I've rambled. <laughs> I do that, especially when it's hot. I tend to go on a bit. And yes, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.